Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. It's time to get the scoop with Sarah. Hello, this is actor-producer Andrew Gray. Thank you. A lot of dynamic lives that have come together to expose truths, bring things to awareness, um, reflections, uh, storylines on relationships, and most importantly, just to help people around the world kind of understand how all closely related we are, even if our problems are a little petty or superficial, maybe an area that seems toxic. We're all very, very similar in, in how we interact with each other, and it doesn't matter about um, you know how much money you have, et cetera. So this, this show um, is a show that's been, a, been in works for a long time. It's been in actually works for almost six years. Um, Kelly and I have been together for almost seven years. And the first couple of years of meeting her, I realized that she was very, very talented and had a great idea. She had a, a circle of friends around her that was very in line with a book that just came out, Crazy Rich Asians. And it was um, for her pretty surreal. She's like, wait, these are our friends. This is, this is like books totally about me. And she actually knew the author. So that it might have actually made sense that way. But she had this show and she put it together and she was shopped it around. And it, and it did really well, actually. People really enjoyed the show. They thought the castmates were interesting. And it wasn't this cast. It was a different cast. We reshaped the cast a handful of times. But with that being said, it didn't get picked up. I don't think it was the world timing. Um, Crazy Rich Asians wasn't a huge book success at that point. I think they're on book two. Um, but with the, the fans wanting more and wanting to see more into Asian culture, and then the movie's big global success, it was just timing. So after she brought it to like um, multiple production studios and they said, we just can't. I've been friends with Jeff Jenkins for 13, 14 years. He's the guy that created Keep It On The Kardashian Show. The show is by Jeff Jenkins Productions. And um, I actually pitched him the show. And I was in a meeting uh, with one of my clients and kind of overstepped a boundary. You never did two meetings at once, you know, but my client went to the bathroom. I want to see my girl shine. She's gone through so much. Pitched the show and he was like, oh my gosh. I've been trying to do this for uh, a long time, but it's hard to get into anyone's real personal life and or let's say the histories, uh, the culture, the secrets, uh, the things that are under the carpet, especially in Asian and Indian cultures and a lot of other cultures, but they just don't expose that much about themselves. Less is more, if that makes sense. Um, so he's been trying to do this for a while. I introduced uh, Kelly to, to Jeff and just got to work. The rest is kind of history. We had to recast a whole bunch and it wasn't... Um, an easy process, nor was actually watching the final result. I'm really happy to move forward to season two so you guys can see more of a, uh, a three dynamic picture of who Kelly really is as a boss lady, as um, a girlfriend, as a, a mommy to fur babies. Um, I hope they can see a three dynamic view of myself other than like this clip it of me falling short and then, you know, kind of having that common thread throughout there. But with that being said, again, I hope for season two and that's the show. And it's been a really big blessing to do it. It truly has. You know, I really hope within the next couple of weeks, that's when we'll know if we get a season two or not. But if not, it's, it was a wonderful journey thus far or so far. And I'm just so happy that it was able to get finished and finalized, not only for Kelly, not only for the cast, but also for Jeff Jenkins Productions. I don't know if you know, but he used to be at Bunim and Murray that started the Kim Kardashian show, right? Uh, the Simple Life, Mariah's World. He did all those things, but now... He has his own production studio and it's a lot to start a studio and there's a lot to put at risk and a lot of finance. And I just really hope this gives him the, the lunch for Jeff Jenkins Productions to do more amazing series like this. I actually was sitting with him yesterday. And I was like, brother, you shape the world. You shape the world. Who can say they do that? We were because we were talking about how big successes we had and areas where we fall short. And he's like, I'm 52 years old and there's still so much like that I'm so insecure about and I'm, I'm 33 and I'm like, it just, it, it was just a good connect time and is, I'm just happy for him. Three dynamic picture of, uh, of myself. Um, I, I truly believe my, my, my loyal fans know who I am. My family, my friends knew who I am. They've been reaching out to me a lot, but um, the rest of the world doesn't. 
who I am and what I've done. And if they want to do some fact checking, if they want to look into socials, if they want to look into backgrounds, I implore them to. Um, and also to let them know that everything I did, I don't regret because it gives me a third person point of view to know what I need to change. And I really hope this helps men around the world seek help. I mean, putting that out there wasn't like a hidden camera, you know? Um, also, it wasn't my my absolute truth. It was a manipulated version to fit the narrative. This is a television show. This is entertainment. This is reality. Let's not uh, get it twisted, you know? We know what we're watching, but at the end of the day, with the world narrative and everything else, it makes you want to pinpoint on somebody because we're angry right now. People are angry right now, and they're angry at me. So I hopefully it gives them a 3D point of view of who I truly am and my faith and uh, how I'd love to serve not only Jesus, but help serve more people and, you know, with this platform that hopefully it can transform into from what the intent was. And yeah, we've had to shift a lot of things and a lot of things aren't easy to shift in the five years of developing a show, but we're in this together as family as everyone else is. And, and if somebody goes, gets pinpointed for next season, I'm going to support them in any way and every way, shape I can. Hey, I have a, I have a brother who annoys the heck out of me. But God bless him because he's my big bro. And I can always look up to him in so many ways. And he's always there for me. But if anybody gave him flack, I'm going to be there for him a heartbeat and vice versa. And yeah, it's, it's been a learning experience. It's been a growing experience. Calling action on the first scene and seeing Kelly's face for sure. For sure. And yeah, I'll never forget that. Part of the Netflix family has been also a wonderful experience and a learning experience to see how they operate. They're very kind and uh, generous. Um, thank you, Netflix, for the two gifts that you gave the whole cast. My favorite was a bag of popcorn. It's the best thing. I would do the show all over again just for the popcorn. They've been wonderful to work with. They've been very transparent. They will reach out to us if, they need, if we need anything. We have great communication with them. So Netflix has been a wonderful experience. Um, they were a target for us to pitch to, for Jeff to pitch to. Um, also Bravo and a couple of other networks that, you know, the Kardashians were on, et cetera. This is what we talked about yesterday. The Kardashians gave a, a, a nationwide exposure and it kind of leaked into different territories, right? And different sins and stuff like that. It didn't have a world expanse. Netflix doesn't put all their shows in the territories that we're in. We've got 192 territories around the world in one BAM. So there's, no, there's really no gift greater than. And also a way to, ex, to have the, the show exploited and for eyes to see it. And again, for hopefully to help people. I mean, Kelly's and I's intent when we did the show, knowing that even our, uh, at that time, uh, we started off, uh, I think we're already uh, in a relation for three years. And it was going well. It wasn't so smooth and 100% fluid like any relationship. You know, it takes time. You have to create a history and things. But our intent was, wow, let's help other couples who are of different culture, different descent, different background. Um, to let people know that you can still make it. That all of your friends are going to have their own narrative because they just want the best for you. But you know it's truly best for you. And we fight towards love. And um, we do it... Um, pretty unconditionally and you know, I hope to show you more in season two if we get one. I really enjoy um, Hotel Impossible. Kelly and I love to travel. We love to go to hotels and we'll watch the hotels and be like, see, that's why I don't go to this hotel. Baby, I've been telling you, woo, you know, stuff like that. Um, we love to see people get helped out and who really have a great heart and good intent to do something, but may not have all the means or had all the support. And then we watch how somebody comes around who has high level success or failure that he's learned from his fault and is able to mentor them. Our favorite show for sure. One of our favorite shows. Oh, that and Bar Rescue. Same thing though. Thank you for watching the Sarah Scoop show. Head to sarahscoop.com for more.